The nominal interest rate is the stated rate, and it does not take into account different compounding periods. The effective rate of interest does take into account different compounding periods. As an example, if a bank pays a stated nominal annual interest rate of 7.5% that compounds quarterly, so four times per year, and someone invests $10,000 into this account, what is the effective annual interest rate? The formula to calculate the effective interest rate, or to convert the nominal interest rate to the effective rate, is the effective interest rate equals the quantity 1 plus the nominal annual interest rate divided by the number of compounding periods raised to the number of compounding periods minus 1. And here is a shortened version of the formula with all of the variables listed. Using the formula, we have effective rate equals 1 plus 0 0.075 the decimal value of 7.5% divided by 4 raised to the 4 minus 1. Here is this calculated out, which equals 0 0.077136, or 7.71% rounded off as the effective rate or real rate of interest. So using this 7.71%, if we multiply the $10,000 times it, we get $771.36, and this is the amount of interest someone would make in one year. To check this, we can use the future value formula, as you see here, and this does check out. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.